Hi, I'm back with a review on what is a very exciting fragrance for me to review and I have finally gotten my hands on the actual Nat Natalie fragrance. And I've only gotten the tester cards, not the actual perfume itself. But nonetheless, I am so happy to have acquired these because it gives me an idea of what the fragrance is like. And that's the tester card photograph. What a beautiful image it is of Nat Natalie Wood. And inside this little vial with the actual fragrance, which is the gardenia. And there's a little notelet, which explains the whole idea behind the perfume. And <clears throat> I believe the story behind the fragrance is that Natalie, as a child star, which she was, in many and many a film, I think most act, famous actresses of today played Natalie's mother. Everyone from Jane Wyman to Jean Tierney made a film with Barbara Stanwyck. And Barbara Stanwyck is a fabulous actress and I adore her films. And Barbara apparently wore Jungle Gardenia as many of the select old stars did, including Joan Crawford. And Natalie apparently commented on it and at the end of the film Barbara gave her a lovely little present of a bottle of the Jungle Gardenia. And as Natalie advanced in years and grew up she apparently wore Jungle Gardenia. That's the story on the card and that's the idea behind the fragrance. But when I think of this fragrance, I always think of another film that Natalie starred in, which was The Star with Betty Davis. And Natalie played Betty's character, which was called Margaret, her daughter Gretchen. Natalie played Gretchen and in the film, Natalie comments to Margaret about her fragrance. And that is the memory I have with Nat Natalie and fragrances. I can't get that image out of my head from the film The Star with Betty Davis, Natalie and Sterling Hayden. I love that film and I've watched it several, several times. But back to the fragrance and it is I can't, I can't actually describe it. I do have gardenia fragrances and if you check my channel out and go back, you will find a couple that I mention. I have never actually had a fragrance like this before. It's so unusual. It actually smells like, it's not like a perfume. It's actually like having three flowers in your bedroom or your sitting room or on you. It's just, I'm not in a position to actually describe what it is like because I wouldn't have the, the words to say it, but it is just gorgeous. When you open it up, the first thing you smell is the gardenias. Be careful with it now because it's precious to me at this point. I have one used already and I just do not want to waste an ounce of it. I just put it on my pulse points sparingly, which usually I do not do with perfumes. If you've watched any of my perfume videos, you'll have seen me spraying, spraying, spraying here, there and everywhere. But this one, behind the ears, the wrists, there, all the pulse points. Then 
orange blossom I can smell. I didn't think when I heard orange blossom and gardenia that there was any possibility that those two fragrances would actually combine to make such a beautiful perfume or parfum, which they do. And then I believe there's jasmine in it. All the notes are there on the card. It says there's neroli also and there's rose oil. And then there's the second notes, hyacinth. The jasmine is in the second notes and at the bottom of, the, or the base notes as they're called, there is vanilla. And there's freesia in it also. And it just makes, I have to say, if I was to say my opinion on it, it is absolutely exquisite. And that's not a word you hear on my channel very often, but that is what it is. And the little test cards or sample cards, I'll be keeping those. So that's my little mini or not so mini review as the case may be, because as I'm sure you can deter determine from what I've said that I'm absolutely delighted to have acquired it. Love it. It is beautiful. And I'm just so happy to have had the chance to test it out and see what I thought. And the only thing that's left now is to find a way to purchase from the US or maybe eBay or Amazon or there are people selling the full size bottles but I don't know how that goes as regards whether they're reliable or I'm not quite sure but I'll have to get somebody to look into it for me because once these little tester cards are gone I will have to have a bottle of it it's just beautiful and like I say it just I can smell it all around the house and other people have mentioned that they could smell it all around the house the tiniest little bit so I think her Natalie's daughter Natasha has done a fabulous job on that perfume perfume fragrance whatever you want to call it and it's absolutely beautiful and if I had only one or two or three fragrances to choose from for a fragrance wardrobe for the rest of my life that would definitely be one of them so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my little mini review thank you